Welcome to Rapid Ridge Farms, where we do things like our grandparents used to, from the way we raise our animals to the simple and delicious recipes we make. We love building community through food and agriculture. Here's what's happening at the farm. Good afternoon from Rabbit Ridge Farms. I'm standing here with Zach, my son, our son, Zach. Uh, Zach is a beekeeper around here and he is going to do a little wellness check on the bees and make sure they've got some, a uh, little something to eat. Now, and I guess this is because Zach, because this is kind of an un, uh, un, um, undeveloped hive. Well, that A new hive. A new hive? Yeah, they're new hives. Uh, they don't have a lot of stores built up. They're still trying to build out some comb, and we're going through uh, a dearth right now, which is uh, what you what you call a time when bees don't have a whole lot to eat naturally. Uh, everything's green, but there's not a whole lot of blooms, so they need a little extra help. Yeah, Zach, so I mean, we we have just planted this field in front of them with sunflowers, and the other field has been planted with hay grazer, which is a sargum sedan uh, hybrid. So, I mean, we're about, I don't know, maybe 60 days from sunflower blooms here. And I know you can't see it from from where we're at, but when you look over here to the horizon, that's all uh, white clover, still blooming. It's on the very tail end, but still blooming. So Zach, uh, tell us what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna get in here tonight, get a little bit of food, maybe pull a couple of frames right up top and check them out. But I might put on the bee suit tonight, so I'm not gonna get into it very much because I don't wanna get stung. And uh, give them a little food, see how they're doing, and keep them rolling. So Zach, when was the last time you fed them just a couple days ago, is that right? Yeah, these bees were fed um, last Saturday, I fed them. On Saturday, so yeah, two days ago and they just dry as bone. Yeah, so if you know, if you watched our first video about the bees, uh, you'll, you would know that this is our first step into beekeeping so these are brand new hives and just trying to give them a little help to get them started so there's no bee suit stuff i'm about 20 foot away i can make a run for it i've been stung plenty of times by my dad's bees growing up zach doesn't seem to be bothered with them so you can see him scraping off the top there and getting ready to put some feed in or we're going to have an america's funniest home video right now So Zach, can you tell us what you're doing right there? So right now I'm just pouring in a 50-50 sugar water mix. It's a standard simple syrup. And these bees are still building out comb in this top box, so they'll use this as fuel to build up that comb. And I imagine they'll go through that half gallon of liquid by tomorrow afternoon. It's incredible how fast they can eat it. Zach, I see you're using your knife there, so what do you, what's the purpose of that? Just prying out one of the frames, pull is, out a frame just to show you kind of the progress of what they've been doing on the... Is that because the wax has got it stopped up in the, got it hung up there? Yeah, they lock everything, glue everything together with uh, stuff that's called propolis. It's like a, like a glue they get from pine trees. They glue it all together. They got a long ways to go, but they've started to build out some over here. And last time I was in this hive, they hadn't done anything on these frames, so they're putting this feed to good use. So Zach, are those bees being pretty well behaved? Yep, they are. I mean, uh, they're always pretty well behaved. If you get one in your hand and grab it, he's gonna, he's gonna get you. Uh, you go slow and watch what you're doing. They're pretty, they're pretty I've had a few of them sting my gloves when I've been out here, but knock on wood, I haven't gotten a sting on yet. I dare you to knock on that wood. No. 
It'll happen. hive right here is in particularly done really well. This guy is having some trouble, but you know, we're going to make it through. What's wrong with that hive, Zach? Well, I think it's queenless right now. I don't think that it was actually pretty clean itself, but definitely a rookie and a lot of So Zach's granddad, my father, was a beekeeper. And honestly, about all I knew about domesticated bees was you didn't get the push lawnmower, that 22 inch Murray, you didn't get it too close to the bees because they didn't like that. But uh, we always had bees at the house uh, for the garden and for the truck patches and so forth. And, my dad loved messing with bees, kind of like Zach here, and uh, he was, he never wore a suit. He'd just go out there and handle them just like that, and then one day he uh, became allergic to them, so he had to had to get out of the bee business. Last time I was in here, the queen had some eggs laid out, so I expect to see some little curled up larvae in this frame right here I'm about to pull. Oh my, that's got a lot more activity in it than the other one. Way more activity because they've still got a queen. So right here we see a bunch of capped up brood, a bunch of little curled up larvae in here, and some nectar stored in up the top. These guys are probably going to be needing some more room here soon. I, I think I'm going to be adding a honey super to these bees here pretty soon, even though we don't have very much of a flow. So they can move some of those nectar reserves up, have more room for brood down below. Uh, that's got a lot more activity in it than the other one. Way more activity because they've still got a queen. So right here we see a bunch of capped up brood, a bunch of little curled up larvae in here, and some nectar stored in up the top. These guys are probably going to be needing some more room here soon. I, I think I'm going to be adding a honey super to these bees here pretty soon, even though we don't have very much of a flow. So they can move some of those nectar reserves up, have more room for brood down below. See if I can find some uh, good brood over here. I think this right here is a frame she has that water right now. Got get. it right there. <laughs> and I, wasn't doing it. I was. <laughs> I'm gonna let them keep it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. They're doing good though. <laughs> How's that old finger feel? Hot. <laughs> It felt pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alone. Let him have Thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Just click on the subscribe button so you won't miss out on what is happening at the farm. You can also follow Rabbit Ridge Farms on Facebook and Instagram.